Hey guys, I'm starting a new series where I'm going to be farming to a Hyperion. This series is going to be super hard for me to complete, so let me set some ground rules. The first and main rule is all income must come from farming alone. There will be no H or Bazaar flipping. This does still allow me to use minions, but the minions have to be farming minions. I will also try to limit the amount of leveling of any other skills such as mining or combat, but there also might be requirements to use specific items that require a certain amount of collection. The second main rule of the series is I will not be taking any donations at all, but I will still be doing fair trades. The third and final rule of the series is I will complete this challenge no matter what, and if I don't, I will end up deleting my main profile. And if I do complete this challenge, I will end up giving away the Hyperion to one lucky subscriber. And now that the basics are planned out, let's finally get into the first day of this challenge. The new profile where I'll be playing for the next few hundred or even maybe thousand hours was called Grapes. I started off the day by chopping down this tree so I could get over to the other island. After grabbing the last log, I crafted all of the wood into wooden planks and I started building. After reaching the other side, I instantly grabbed the cobblestone minion and threw it off the edge. And then I headed into the hub portal to finally start my farming adventure. The first place that I ended up heading to was the wheat fields. This is so I could level up my farming level very quickly. And after reaching wheat collection 3, I could finally craft my first set of gear. This set would give me 20 more farming fortune. The set also provided 20 more speed while in the farmlands. This would help me farm a little bit quicker. Now with a new set of gear and a newfound determination, I got right back to farming. After checking out the skyblock leveling rewards, I finally found my goal for today. Reaching skyblock level 6 so I could auto pick up all drops. This would make farming so so much easier so I knew I needed it. I also knew it would not be easy to hit skyblock level 6 quickly, but I also knew I just had to persevere through the rough grinding. After a few more minutes of just farming, I ended up selling all of my goods to the farm merchant. After that, I bought a rookie hoe. This is so I could eventually put Harvesting 5 on it, and it also gives 50% more seeds. I also just learned that I needed to be Skyblock level 7 to use the Bazaar, which is where I will be selling most of my crops and other drops. So I also put down my list of things that I wanted to achieve that day. I finally reached Skyblock level 1, which puts me 14% closer to my final goal for that day. The main way I was getting Skyblock XP was through collections. This was super difficult though, because once I reached higher level collections, I needed so many more crops. Around 15 minutes later, I finally had enough money to buy my first pet, the rabbit pet. This would allow me to start gaining taming XP, which would help me level up my skyblock level. I decided to also unlock carpentry. This would also help me gain more skyblock XP. All I had to do to level up the skill is craft stuff. This includes enchanted crops. I quickly crafted all of my potatoes into enchanted potatoes. This granted me carpentry too, which gained me 10 skyblock XP. At this time, I finally reached farming level 11 and taming level four. Now, every time I level up farming, I gained 10 skyblock XP instead of only five. While I was farming, I didn't even notice that I finally reached skyblock level two. None of these lower skyblock levels really even helped me, but at least I get me closer to unlocking auto pickup and bazaar. My rabbit pet is now level 28. This also leveled up my taming level to level 7. My taming skill alone has gained me 35 skyblock XP so far. That alone puts me 5% closer to unlocking the bazaar. 15 minutes later, after making barely any progress, I finally decided to start leveling up my skyblock level through mining. So I determined the best place to start with was sand. This is because sand gives 3 mining XP per block and can be instantly broken with efficiency 3 golden shovels. One minute after I started mining, I finally reached skyblock level 3. This was huge progress because the last time I leveled up was around 20 minutes ago. I realized that I needed to put efficiency on my shovel to make mining really worth it. So I bought myself a diamond sword with the plan to go hunt down some zombies for their XP. But before I went to find some zombies, I went to level up my forging just to gain some free easy skyblock XP. This didn't last long though because I quit right after I reached forging level 3. After eliminating a few regular zombies, I realized that I would need to attempt to fight some crib ghouls for their XP. This idea ended up horrendously for me, with me losing 11,000 coins. I guess this is karma for me not continuing to only farm. After 55 minutes, I finally grabbed myself a rogue sword. This gives me 100 more speed for 30 seconds, and it only costs 100 mana each time I use it. This marks the last action of the first hour of this challenge. I made a lot of progress, but there's still a lot more I had to do. The next hour started with me hitting Taming 9 and leveling up my rabbit pet to level 36. I also eliminated a few cows to hit combat level 2. After doing a little bit of research on skyblock XP, I found out the best skills to target are skills that are above level level 11. This is because they give double the XP, and that is why I decided to just continue on with farming. With this new plan, I ended up hitting carpentry level 6, and then a few seconds later I ended up hitting farming level 13. 
I decided to also start leveling up the Nether War collection, just because it was super low level at the time. I ended up only leveling up the collection two times before I ended up getting bored and had to move on to the next thing. After moving back to farming wheat, I reached wheat collection level 7. This now allowed me to craft enchanted hay bales, and this now gave me a lot more inventory space. It also helped out a lot in leveling up my carpentry skill. After farming for about 15 more minutes, I decided it was now time to start mining. This would give me a lot of XP and a ton of skyblock XP. If you guys think this is cheating, if it helps, I throw every penny I made for mining. Literally one minute into mining, I was already mining level 4. I grabbed myself the lazy miner's pickaxe so I could auto smell all ores so I could get more XP so I could enchant later. I started unlocking many collections and leveling up very quickly, and I quickly became mining level 5. This allowed me to access the deep caverns where I could mine even more ores. I also leveled up to skyblock level 4. This puts me over halfway of the way to unlocking the bazaar. Once I reached the deep caverns, I started mining lapis. This is so I could gain XP to start enchanting my gears and other tools. I also did the exact same thing with redstone just because it gave similar amounts of XP and it leveled up a new collection. Because I had around 60,000 coins, I decided to go deposit them into the bank. And while was at it, I wanted to enchant my golden shovel. By doing this, I also leveled up my enchanting level. I decided to go back to mining so I could level up my diamond collection. By doing this, I hit mining level 6 and diamond collection 3 at the exact same time. After mining diamonds and many other ores, I decided to go back to mining sand. For those who don't know, mining sand is actually a quicker way of leveling up mining than mining any single ore in the deep caverns. I mined sand for probably another 10 minutes before reaching skyblock level 5. This is a huge step in getting the fabled Hyperion because this level now gives me access to the garden, the place where I'll be spending most of my time in. The next few minutes I had to go through the full garden tutorial. This was a huge waste of time. It also took me a few more minutes to clean my first ever plot. After cleaning out the plot, I started gathering a lot of seeds so I could load the wheat preset. This is so I could start leveling up my garden. Before I was done collecting all of the seeds, I was only 4 skyblock XP off skyblock level 6, so I decided to hit that first. And now that I've auto pick up, everything should be much easier, but mainly farming. Once leaving the cave, I had a good amount of XP. Enough XP in fact to apply Harvesting 5 to my rookie hoe. I went right back to farming, and finally I had two ender chest pages full of seeds. And I bet it's just enough to fill the entire plot with wheat. So that's what I went to go do. And even though I don't have replenish, it will still be faster to farm and repaste the preset than the lobby swap through hubs. And now that the wheat preset is fully pasted, now I just have to wait for it to all grow. Now that it was fully grown out, I could start harvesting all of the wheat. I was just hoping that I was able to hit skyblock level 7 off the crop milestone alone. After reaching crop milestone 1, I realized that there was no chance I was going to hit skyblock level 7 off of it, because it only gave 1 skyblock XP per. I realized that reaching skyblock level 7 would be harder than I thought, but an even bigger issue I was facing is I had to empty my inventory every 15 seconds. This cut down massively on how many crops I was able to harvest. I also had no clue what the best farming strategy was. Very quickly though, I noticed that every time I leveled up my garden, I gained 10 skyblock XP, and that made me realize, leveling up my garden is how I will reach skyblock level 7. I was still 56 skyblock XP off of hitting level 7, but because I leveled up my garden, my wheat milestone, and my farming level all at the same time, I was pushing even closer to success. After some more rough farming, I was ready to sell off all my crops. This was to buy a beautiful good old elephant pet. I took a trip to the mushroom cave so I could finish off my skyblock level. And now I was finally skyblock level 7. Now I finally had access to the bazaar. And the first thing I did was sell off my two Jacobs tickets for a sweet 90k. And now with $115,000 and farming level 16, I was ready to log off for the first time on this profile. If you guys enjoyed the first episode of the series, please leave a like and subscribe, and have a great day, guys.